Luke, Jesus' words continue. The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so. But he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he that is chief as he that doeth serve. For whether is greater, he that sitteth at meat, or he that serveth, is not he that sitteth at meat, but I am among you as he that serveth. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations, and I appoint unto you a kingdom as my Father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day before that thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. When I sent you without purse and scrip and shoes, lack ye anything? But now he that hath a purse, let him take it, and likewise his scrip. And he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say unto you that this that is written must yet be accomplished in me. And he was reckoned among the transgressors, for the things concerning me have an end. It is enough. Pray that ye enter not into temptation. Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Why sleep ye? Rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. Judas, betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? Suffer ye thus far. Be ye come out as against a thief with swords and staves. When I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretched forth no hands against me, but this is your hour and the power of darkness. Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. If I tell you, ye will not believe. And if I also ask you, ye will not answer me, nor let me go. Hereafter shall the Son of Man sit on the right hand of the power of God. Ye say that I am. Thou sayest it. Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming, and the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren, and the wounds that never bear, and the paps which never gave suck. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. What manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are sad? What things? O oh, fools and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? Peace be unto you. Why are ye troubled, and why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold, my hands and my feet, that it is I myself handle me and see, for a spirit has not flesh and bones as ye see me have. Have ye here any meat? These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Thus it is written, and thus it behoved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things, and behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem, until ye be endued with power from on high. John, Jesus' words continued. What seek ye? Come and see. Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah, thou shalt be called Cephas. Follow me. Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no go. Before that Philip called thee, when thou wast under the fig tree, I saw thee. Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree, believest thou, thou shalt see greater things than these. Verily, verily, I say unto you, hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man.
Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. Fill the water pots with water. Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. Take these things hence. Make not my father's house and house of merchandise. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof. But canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be, mani be made manifest that they are wrought in God. Luke, Jesus' words continue. The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so. But he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he that is chief as he that doeth serve. For whether is greater, he that sitteth at meat, or he that serveth, is not he that sitteth at meat, but I am among you as he that serveth. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations, and I am